This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting. I'm in the Crumlin Boxing Gym today, joined by Danny Ahrens. Welcome to Fight Week. Thank you very much, sir. It feels, it feels real now. Mm. It feels different, obviously, in the gym, just doing every day. But now this is real. Everybody on the card is in the room with me, seeing everybody work out. It's real now. It's real. This is now the Fight Week chaos. We're in the Crumlin Boxing Gym where Conor McGregor changed quite a lot. Wow. And yeah, it's absolutely packed. We've got all the, all the media here, all the fighters. There's like about two hour slot, it's in about four o'clock time. So it's quite stressful, but uh, yeah, this is the start of uh, something very new. Mate, this is the start of the beginning. <laughs> I'm falling in love with this. Um, it's a lot different experience for me, but I'm loving every single moment. I'm loving embracing everything. And I think this is gonna be the start of something of a very long time, Fred, mm. a long career, hopefully. Normally on fight week, I'm most excited for fight night. Obviously, it's where the, kind of, the interviews go viral and where we see who wins the fights and all the exciting, exciting surprises that Misfits always have to offer. But for me this week, it's going to be firstly night when your parents land and they're coming straight on camera doing an interview. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, my dad has spoken to... He phoned you, innit? Well, well, he phoned Fred. My dad and Fred had a phone conversation. We did like a good half an hour, 40 minutes. That is outrageous. <laughs> that is absurd. Shout out to Andrew. No, honestly, mate, it's, it's a blessing that my parents are so involved. Well, you know he's, I mean? so, he's so excited. Bro, this is the thing, man. Like, this is what I'm doing it for. If I can make them proud, what else matters in life, you know? So I'm glad they're, they're coming all the way, coming to Dublin to watch me have a scrap. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm very lucky, I'm very blessed. Well, I'm doing the interview, but they're going to they're gonna land at the hotel. I'll go to the interview straight away, and then they'll go out after. So make sure I get them before the pub. Please. <laughs> get them straight, go to the airport. Interview them at like the Like TM, TMZ paparazzi. Yeah, honestly, just yeah. stand outside. That, that is that, that is that, that is mine. Just do that, and it should be all right. If there's any alcohol, long day, long day. <laughs> Your manager starts freaking out. Is your manager here this week? Is he coming? What? He's somewhere. I think I met him before. I've talked to him after. Everyone's coming, right. which is lovely. Everyone that I like, everyone that I, everyone that I support, are now supporting me. It's a really like, it's really, it's nice. It is nice. I'll be honest. Like, it's a good feeling, man. But your dad's very excited about your fight. But he's also very excited about meeting Ethan Bazinga. No, he, no, he cannot no, stop talking no, about him. He's he, so pleased about it. He only wants to meet Ethan Bazinga. The fight, yeah, it's all right. That's the second thing. Meeting Bazinga is his priority. Oh, it's Ethan, Art Party, Danny Aaron's fight. Yeah, I'm probably third. I'm actually probably third. He's going to love it. My mum oh, is yeah. going to love the After Party. She's banging on about it. I don't even know where it is, what it is. I don't even know if there is I don't is know one. if there is one, to be honest. There used to be know. always one, but a lot of crazy know. stuff happens at the After Party, and it all gets put on one person's bill, and that person oh. always does go out, start getting quite stressed out. Okay, well, hey, I'm not really a party person, mm. but my parents come, come here. You know what I mean? I'll let them have fun. So who have you got to come to support you on Saturday? Who's coming down to watch you out of the oh, YouTuber-wise? We've got, we got all the boys, man. Obviously, my family, yeah. Tennessee. We've got we've got all the Gurf and Turf boys. You know Gurf and Turf? Right, so Angry Ginge. We got, yeah, I mean, it would take ages to list them all, but literally okay. everyone from Gurf and Turf, if they can come, they are coming. And I think that's I think that's so sick, man. Any of the side men coming down to watch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Mini Minter Simon, or Cal Freezy? Simon will be there. Ethan will be there. Uh, KSI will be there. Especially. Uh, and he actually, you. he said, he's actually just gonna commentate over my fight. Yeah. They're not actually making him do that. He just wanted to do it. Uh, no, he's commentating over every single fight. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, I just want everyone there, man. I want everyone there. Like, this is a big moment for me. And it'll be nice to just uh, get the support, you know? Are they gonna be here in fight week or they'll be here for fight night, those guys? I reckon just fight night, you know? I've told people, like I've told my mum and dad, just come for the fight respectfully. Like a press con, this is probably not doing Misfits great, but a press conference you can watch online. Right. You ain't gotta be there. A weigh-in, you can watch. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, I am sorry, obviously, please come to it, buy tickets and that. But realistically, it's not worth flying over for, right. you know? Well, sorry. I would say it is, I would say it is flying over. Sorry. Um, yeah. Is Tennessee coming just for fight night as well? Of course, yeah, she'll be there. I mean, that's obviously a big, a big support. Like having her watch me is like, yeah, I feel, I feel loved. I feel appreciated. I feel like I need to win, and I feel like I want to win. So no, it's very nice. How was your face to face? Obviously, KSI hosted it. The first time KSI hosted a um, face to face. Danny versus Danny. It was the nicest face to face ever, man. <laughs> because this is it. We're two people. We're not, we're not beefing each other. We've got nothing against each other, and we both know that. He's quite old, like he's matured, do you know what I mean? He knows, he doesn't have to do this. He doesn't have to trash talk and all that. So it's literally just two people that want to fight. That's it. 
that's it there's no insult don't get me wrong there's a little bit of like you know poking because we're fighting each other at the end of the day we're not going to be best buds but it's nothing personal it's nothing bad it's just we both want to do the same job you know yeah, I know, I understand. But do you reckon though it'll get heated like throughout fight week and in the in the in the final way in a little bit of push in the pool? It's a tough one to call. You can, you can never really it's, know until yeah, the moment happens. I'm not gonna be the one initiating it. Like when we face off, I'm not gonna be pushing him or anything like that. But if he does it to me, I'm not a bitch. Do you know what yeah. I mean? But I, again, I just think we're we're two individuals that know exactly how how to act. You know, so I, I well, don't he's a footballer, so. he's PR trained, he knows how to he is PR trained. <laughs> He is trained, so uh, yeah, I, I think it's going to be all good. Uh, sounds exciting for sure. Um, it's, it's a very stacked card, certainly the best card of the year so far. Yeah, Which other fight are you most looking forward to? Ooh, Loki Sammy. Okay. I really, really want to see Sammy Cook, man. Sammy Hammond, Prison Team yeah, Hammond's yeah, son, I, on his debut. I just think, I think he is what misfits need. Right. Do you know what I mean? That like, again, he's not fought. Uh, I get on misfits, or whatever. But he I hasn't. Think, is this, he hasn't fought. But I don't know how to fight before. Really? Ever? Uh, no. Well. I think he, what we expect from him, right. if we get that, that is exactly what misfits need. Entertainment, fun, but also devastating. And that, that <laughs> if, if what happened, if what we expect happens, that's the next star, mate. That's the next misfit star. Enoch being going to be the one who brings the devastating power in, though. Of course, that's, that goes without saying, mate. Yeah. All right, that goes without saying. We're going for a knockout. Um, but there's other people with power on the card and I've got to respect that it is it is funny um this week are you have any chance to go out a little walk around Ireland you can be stuck in your hotel room any plans anything anything cool hey, you know me I love walking man yeah. I love walking I've already done like 15,000 steps today and I haven't really do you have a Fitbit or Apple watch or ah, you know I used to but then let me get let me get deep on you okay. you get too engrossed in the numbers and you're like damn I haven't walked enough I haven't done this and it's unhealthy so now I just walk to walk not to increase the numbers so I ain't got no tracking device nothing but I get my steps in Freddy boy always well, how do you know how many steps you're getting in how, wait, how do you know if you're looking look at your numbers how do you know you got to 15,000 today my, my phone my phone <laughs> like the, your phone does track it do you know what I mean but no like you don't always have your phone do you know what I mean but I, I do I'm very proud to say for the last like four years I've done 10,000 steps every day. Maybe like a few days here and there. 10,000 steps every single day. I love it. Before I let you go, because I know that you want to go hide away before you have to do any more interviews, but anything exciting for the ring walk? Anything planned? I, mate, this is it, man. I don't know. I think because it's my first fight, I don't want to do too much. I want to I wanna throw, throw it, you know, give the OGs that watch me, obviously, throughout this whole journey, I want them to get excited. We've got a song planned for that. But apart from that, I don't want to do anything crazy. We've got future plans. I want to come out in a caravan right. uh, wow. in, one, in one of my other ones. You're going to have, oh my gosh, Arthur. You're going to have Arthur walk Arthur, you out saying, he, you can have an Arthur audio saying, he's in a caravan when you roll out in a caravan. So we've got plans, but I think for the first fight, keep it humble. Throw, throw some respect to the OGs that have been watching me for ages. Get the job done. Yeah, Pretty cool, sure. So exciting. I guess look, when, when you're watching the fight back, after the fight, Knowing Mrs. Boxing, or if I get a chance, there'll be a camera on your parents the entire time. So you'll probably see their reactions back as well. I would, I, to be fair, I would love that. I want to see their reaction. Uh, they will, they will be filmed all night long, all night long. Having a camera at the bar and having a camera at ringside. Oh, please don't, please don't. No, but mate, they'll be, they'll, they'll love it, man. Like this is, it's a sick opportunity for me, and to see them come all the way here, like. I can't be more thankful, you know. Awesome. Daniel, we'll wrap it up here, but yeah, thanks as always, and I'll hey, see you in this week. Pleasure, my friend. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Nice. Yeah.